<laughs> hey guys, it is um, day two of the Rise Up Challenge. It's easy to remember which day it's supposed to be because it's the second day in the month. And although this filter has me looking great, um, it clears my skin and gives me some eyelashes, gives a little pop to my eyes, and it even makes my lips bigger, more fuller. Um, I am not feeling good uh, at all. Um, neither are my parents. Uh, I mentioned yesterday in my live that we were all going to get our COVID uh, vaccination shot and we did that and um, while the shot did not feel like anything like I barely felt the prick she said oh you know get ready big stick and I barely felt it go in my arm but last night closer to midnight um, I started to feel um, the pain um, in my arm and um, then I started to feel achy and um, all day I've been achy and taken Tylenol my arm really hurts um, it hurts underneath my armpit um, and uh, my chest is a little tight like I have body aches in my chest, my back, um, which, and, uh, and I have a headache, um, a nagging headache, which I've had COVID. I had it back near, was it right near Labor Day last year? And so to be honest with you, it's, that's what it feels like. Um, I haven't gotten... I mean, I haven't gotten a vaccination um, of any kind since, I think when I was cheering with the Falcons, we had to take like some kind of shot before we traveled to entertain the troops. Um, and I can't remember exactly what that was. Um, it was something strong though. Um, for some reason, I'm thinking malaria, but I don't know what what vaccination we got, but that, I cheered for the Falcons back in 2000, what was that, 04 through 08, so that was, all, that was, you know, quite a while ago, over, let's see, 10, 11, 12, 13 years ago, and I haven't taken a flu shot since I've been in college. Because um, um, I just, I entered into this life of fitness. At some point, I read about the flu shot and um, about uh, whether we really needed it or not. And I stopped taking it. I mean, I took it every year when I was a kid under underneath my mom's insurance. And then I think I took took it the first couple of years in college because they gave them to us for free and then um somewhere in the middle of my college years I decided I'm not gonna take the flu shot and I have not gotten the flu since um but it's interesting um this is day two of the rise up challenge with uh my fellow um Abundant Life Path or Abundant Life Movement um, friends and classmates because I'm taking a cert coaching certification through them. And um, I was like, yesterday um, I did it and I was like proud of myself for going live and being honest. And then today waking up feeling like crap, I just felt like... The devil is not going to get me. I am going to do this live and um, I'm going to be true. 
um, to what's going on in my life right now and be obedient to the word of God and sharing what I have on my heart. Um, yesterday I started talking about, um, and I'm going to keep this theme, theme throughout the month, is yesterday I, I, I was talking about fear and how uh, God, thank you. I will be strong. God, uh, God, uh, did not give us the spirit of fear. It's, uh, second Timothy first chapter seventh verse. Um, but, um, he gave us, uh, a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. And I have, been experiencing these frequent setbacks and um at first you know I thought oh what am you know what am I doing what have I done in my past years what have I done to deserve this or what have I done to get myself to this point you know was there something that I didn't do right in fitness and I was like is it the years of 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 trying different things and doing crazy diets and is it the years of um just just overworking my body 24 7 and um I come to realize that it's really none of that it's the fact of the matter is that God will sit you down when he needs you to sit down. And one of one of the verses that sits with me a lot is um is a verse that I want to say I want to say uh Alicia Harris really put me on this verse and I don't know that she knows that but um um in our weakness he is made perfect the will of God is made perfect in our weakness and what I'm starting to realize is that there comes a time when you really have to um, put action, hi Shayla, put action to what you say you believe. So, what I mean by that is that as a follower of Christ Jesus, I have given my life to Christ. But yet, I expect to have a level of control. And although, although he has blessed me with these talents to be able to train and work out and perform and light up a stage and entertain um and work with people um all of that still belongs to him every single bit of it belongs to him and everything has to be given back to him so I mentioned that every, or maybe I didn't mention that this, every time I get ready to get up and get back to my fitness regimen, get back to working out, to get back to the thought process of getting back on that stage and getting excited. Like I was so excited that The Rock was going to have a show here in Atlanta. Um, and that was supposed to happen in a couple years ago or last year or it just keeps getting pushed back every time I get up and decide I'm going to start back going to CrossFit uh, start back my running here at home 
something happens. And I think what God is trying to tell me is that I have been, I have made an idol. I made an idol of my fitness. I made an idol of my fitness career. I made an idol of that ability to be able to always know that I had that in my back pocket. So therefore, when whenever I was going through anything painful or tough or let's say a bad breakup or a relationship or a loss of a loved one or anything, I had that fitness to go back to, right? There's nothing like a good workout to get rid of stress. But then when your workouts become a stress, when your workouts become <sighs> something that's not relieving you anymore because you've used that as a crutch all your life, you've used your ability to look a certain way or to perform a certain way or to be in front of a crowd. I don't know if this is resonating with anybody. This could be something different for you, but I understand now more than ever that the point of it all is to know that my one true source is the Lord above. Some people may call that Jesus, like I do. I totally resonate with Jesus. Some people may call that the universe, God, spirit, however that is connected for you. I don't, I don't propose to tell people how to have faith. I just know that it exists. And if you don't pay attention to it, your overall quality of life would just be never fulfilled, never, never in full. So this morning when I woke up, I said I was going to title today's message is in God's timing because everything that abundant life that that peace that love that joy that ultimate abundant living that we all seek is on the other side of sacrifice it's on the other side of giving in to who we were created to be and listening to our source and not latching on to any titles, any idle thing. I mean, it may be that I get back on stage because I love it. God gave that to me. But whatever he gives to me, he does not want it to be on a pedestal above him. And I'll tell you right now, I would have never, ever, 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 ever gotten as far as I got on the fitness IFBB stage without the Lord. Like that's the honest to God truth. When I, when, when, when I think about it and I think about those times at 3.30 a.m. in the morning getting on the treadmill and then getting done in time to go beat my first set of clients at the gym at 5.30 and then tra training clients every half hour until about 10.30, 11, then driving to a gym and training with a trainer myself, then coming back only to have a short period of time to like eat, shower, I would take a little nap and then get back up, go back to the gym and train other clients after. So that this is me training twice a day. I, I, I know now that I, cl I, I started to cling to it. Meanwhile, wanting a full life, wanting to spend time with family, wanting to do other things that people were doing, like saving to buy a house and, um, thinking about getting pregnant and 
all of these things. And God has set me down and said, no, this, this is not, this is not your season for this right now. I got other plans for you. I don't know what those plans are. I just know I've been sat down since this time last year, for sure. It's been a full year. The hustle and bustle of j zipping from one gym to the next, training people, training myself, getting ready for this, that, or the other. All of that has slowed down. It's come to a halt. And for different, in, in different ways, getting COVID, getting sick, gyms closing down, um, getting injured, getting sick after working out. Um, so, um, having injuries that are like fluky injuries, you know, like me not even lifting very heavy and being sat down, not being able to work out, um, me attempting the 75 hard and working out for 35, I think I made it to 35 days straight, barely dropping a pound. That's not like me. That's not, that's not my normal. As soon as I jump right back into it, usually my body snaps right to, um, that's God. That's God showing me, teaching me that there is a new way and I have to, I have to surrender and I have to let him have his way. So this month's theme is fear. And I've been very fearful of letting that go. Very feel, fearful of letting the whole, letting my dream of getting back on stage go. I left the stage off of an injury. It wasn't by choice. I got injured. I had to go back. I, I had to get have surgery. I had to do rehab. I've torn my Achilles twice now. That second uh, injury was pretty tough. And then on my way back to healing, the fibroids went out of whack. I mean, I couldn't even, I was so uncomfortable. I couldn't even lay on my stomach to do Superman's or lay on my back to do crunches. Like that was, that was painful and uncomfortable. So that, therefore that turned into needing another surgery. And so it's been, it's been a lot. It's been a lot, but God, God is saying to me now, and I guess I just didn't, he might've been saying that to me before, but it's time to surrender. It's time to surrender all this chaos, all this meanness on Instagram and Facebook and social media, all this social unrest with people not being kind, people hiding behind their social media pages, it's got to stop. It's got to stop. And I think it stops by us individually surrendering and figuring out what, what the true living God, not just, oh, I say I'm a Christian or I just, you know, whatever it is, uh, the title you put on yourself, it's not just in vocaling or it's not just in word or in theory, it's in truth. So, so I sit here in pain, <laughs> sick. I, I honestly feel like I have COVID all over again. This is exactly how I felt. But I know when God sits me down, it's for a purpose. So, and if he's done it before and gotten me through things before, he'll do it again. He always does. There's always a plan and his purpose is always greater than ours. So I'm going to leave you with that thought. I'm working through my fears, maybe competition, maybe the fitness world. Maybe it's something that I've made an idol and I, it's time for me to let it go. It's time for me to truly sacrifice that part of my life and focus on other things that God wants me to do. So my fear has been to let that go. My fear has been to separate from what I've known forever, for the longest. And I learned it, you know, by being an active 
athlete all my life transitioning into a competitor, which I learned by doing and then transitioned into a personal trainer, fitness instructor, CrossFit coach, nutrition coach, you name it, I do it. And I enjoy it. I love it. I love helping other people in that realm, but it may just be something that God has said, you know, yeah, you can still keep helping other people, but you personally have to let it go. So, yeah. Anyway, it's the Rise Up Challenge that we're doing. And the goal is fully to speak from the heart and to spread peace and love, authenticity, uh, authenticity, and to give other people the courage to explore their spirit their spirituality and to explore their truth and what they believe in um, and who they are exploring your own truth so I will keep you posted I will be going live every day for this rise up challenge in April so you will be hearing from me blessings and abundance to you all Thanks for watching. Blessing and blessings and abundance to all of you that are going to catch the replay. I'm going to try to do my best to, to to do a better job by reposting or saving this. I didn't. I, I don't think I did it right the last time, but um, blessings and abundance to you all. Take care. Bye.